Welcome to this session on how to get started with ANZOGRAPH in AWS. ANZOGRAPH is a native, massively parallel processing graph OLAP database purpose-built for heavy-duty data warehouse analytics, including aggregations, graph algorithms, and inferencing at massive big data scale and super fast performance. In this video, you'll see the steps to quickly deploy ANZOGRAPH on AWS. You can deploy ANZOGRAPH on AWS so you can basically run it from anywhere be it any CSP you may be using for running your virtual machines, or any standalone Linux machines on-prem. You can deploy it on any of these platforms. Before you start, please refer to this page from our online documentation for the prerequisites you'll need. Make sure you have a CentOS 7 AMI subscription and an EC2 key pair for accessing EC2 instances. Also make sure that your user permissions, IAM policy, has permission to access and use the cloud formation feature. Also, make sure you have a VPC with a public subnet. During the deployment, you'll need to provide the subnet ID for the subnet. We'll show you how to find that in just a few minutes. As a first step, go to the CambridgeSemantics.com homepage and then go to the AnzoGraph product page, which will bring you here. Select the AWS option and register. Or if you'd like to deploy ANZOGRAPH on all three options in your environment, you could select all and have the license keys for all. Once you do that, you'll get an email with the license keys, which you will need, especially if you're deploying the free trial on AWS or CentOS. Now we're on the ANZOGRAPH on AWS launch page. Continue by clicking the Select Region drop-down list and select the region in which you want to deploy ANZOGRAPH. Next, select the radio button for Use Case A, Fully Automated Deployment with Restricted Access. Now, in the AWS console, you'll log into AWS. The browser will display CloudFormation. You'll want to select a unique stack name. In the Enter Number of Nodes drop-down list, select the number of instances you want to include in the cluster. Now you'll need to provide information specific to your AWS installation details, including VPC, subnet ID, and SSH EC2 key pair. Please refer to the Deploying ANZOGRAPH on AWS documentation page at this URL. For example, to find your subnet ID, click on the how do I find the subnet ID for my VPC link? Log into the AWS VPC Management Console. In the VPC Management Console navigation, click Subnets. The console then displays the list of subnets. In the search field above the list, search for the VPC that contains the subnet with the ID that you need. The console displays the subnets for that VPC. Click the checkbox next to the subnet to display the subnet details, and then copy the subnet ID value. In the Select SSH EC2 Key Pair drop-down list, select the EC2 Key Pair to use for SSH access to the cluster. In the Cluster Credentials section, Type the username for users with system administration access to ANZOGRAPH. Passwords must be at least eight characters long and contain at least one digit, one special character, and one letter. Type the username you want to use for users and applications that can query data in ANZOGRAPH but do not have access to system administration operations. Then type the password for the username, leave shared path on NFS server blank, Select the checkbox to acknowledge that CloudFormation might create IAM resources, and click Create to launch the deployment. This is the deployment status page, and as you can see, it is in progress now. The status is complete now. You can use the ANZOGRAPH URL link under Key to log in to the console. The browser displays the ANZOGRAPH login screen. Enter the credentials that you created during the deployment and then click Sign In. The browser displays the ANZOGRAPH end user license agreement. 
click Accept to agree to the EULA terms and proceed to the Anzograph Query Console where you can load and query sample data and your own data. Anzograph supports loading data from Turtle, NTriple, NQuad, TriG, and CSV files. You can load files that are hosted on Amazon S3 or other storage, the local or mounted file system on the Anzograph server or web server. This statement will load the sample ticket data, that's T-I-C-K-I-T, on the CSI STL data ticket S3 bucket. Ticket is a sample data set for a fictitious company that specializes in selling tickets for upcoming concerts and other events. By exploring this ticket sample data set, you can also observe how to perform various queries using Anzograph. For example, this query will count the number of triples that exist in the ticket data set. We hope you found this video to get started with Anzograph on AWS helpful and hope you enjoyed working with the Anzograph graph database. Thank you.